on the mass automaker front with with Tesla yeah. reaching 2 million units now that they've sort of started lowering the price and producer wife if you can pull up the uh, the the article shout I just out shout shared, out to producer wife all the great work. shout out producer wife hell yeah she's, she's the, the heart of the show she is she's the heart yeah. on the brains <laughs> uh, the car and driver article producer wife you can bring it up uh ford in uh quote unquote retaliation but i think out of necessity they also just announced uh, uh lower prices today on the on ford the Mach -E. Yeah. yeah, uh between 400 to 5700 dollars. Uh so real quick, I read this for folks that are just on headphones. Uh 2023 Ford Mustang Mach E base prices dropped between 400 and 5700 dollars from car and driver. This uh, was published earlier today. Ford also said this year it plans to increase Mach E production by 60 percent to 130,000 units. To put that in uh, in context, the model Y is probably gonna get close to or slightly above a million units this year. And yep. uh, the mach -E was released about six months after the, the Model Y. And so around the same time they were launched and yep. Tesla Model Y is roughly 10x the units after three years, which it's food for thought. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying food for thought is interesting there. It's a fake car. You think it's a fake car? It's not a real profit center for Ford. Oh, for sure not. They're not making money on it. it and, they, and they came it, out and they said that. that they can, I'll prove you it's a fake car. If you can leave the article on the screen, I'm going to prove it to you. This decision makes no business sense. If this was actually a profit center for Ford, this would be unacceptable. I'll tell you why. The one thing that auto companies always have traditionally struggled with is margin. It's very hard to con continuously generate mar sustainable margins when you're building physical stuff, especially as elaborate and complex as automobiles or planes, whatever. It's a very tough industry. Ford is operating in an environment with about 8%, 9% gross margin. I don't remember. Single digits gross margin. Tesla is operating in what? 23, 24% gross margin. Tesla is coming out from the Olympus from the 24% gross margin. And they're basically saying, okay, we're going to bite into it a little bit to increase volume. Cool. Where is this discount coming out of if you're already at eight percent or nine percent gross margin this discount basically creates this unless you're going to tell me this is a loss leader for ford which there's no such thing as a loss leader in the other industry it's not like if you buy if you sell somebody a mach e they're going to buy an f-150 <laughs> there's, there's no loss leading in auto right so this is a losing vehicle like if they're yeah. dropping price on something that's already at eight percent gross margin, there's not meat. There's no meat on the bone for this car to make money, unless all this is is a publicity stunt for for the shareholders to kind of make it seem as if uh, Farley and team are actually getting progress in EVs. The truth is that Ford is so far behind because of years of neglect and years of misunderstanding the industry, years of misallocating resources, not creating infrastructure for EV at all. They're so far behind that this is just a Hail Mary. And I, I like the car itself. It's not horrible. It's just, how are they going to make money off of it? How are they going to make enough of it? At this price right. level, it's it's a losing business. It's like, it's not yeah. sustainable.